Parents, you'll be able to relate to this. Imagine spending thousands of dollars to travel to watch your kid play in a national soccer tournament only to find out some of those games would be decided by a coin toss. ABC Action News reporter Maricela Burgos is live in Pinellas County tonight to explain the outrage families are sharing after going through just that. Maricela? This is tough because this was such a big a deal for the Celtic team that practices right behind me. They had never made it to a national tournament in, what, 27 years, but bad weather meant a coin toss. And imagine that feeling. You have a 50-50 shot. Is it heads or tails? I'm very proud of you guys. A pep talk before their first practice. It's not always fair. But all you do is you, you, you keep working. The Celtic boys team is back from a national tournament in Louisiana, but none of them have shaken off this moment. It was really short. Uh, I called tails against Georgia. It was nice. Tournament officials say storms made it unsafe to play, so they flipped a coin to decide the remaining games. Our hearts like dropped. We worked so hard to get here. The Celtic team had only played one game. They lost two more to coin tosses. We came up against North Carolina. They called heads. It was heads. So. It's unfortunate that we didn't get to show our skills, and it was determined by fate. Tournament officials say they did everything to avoid using coin tosses, but this team believes the league called the games too soon, and they want the U.S. Youth Soccer Club to take a second look at the rule. It was um, very disheartening to, to see our kids go away uh, with their heads down uh, when they didn't lose the game uh, on the field. Zip it in there. It was, like, really important for me to show my skills up there and to see what I could do at the, one of the highest levels of soccer. Now it's about looking forward. We put a lot of hard work in for it, but it, the hard work is for the better of us, even if we didn't get to show it. Tournament officials started reviewing this event, and they may consider making some improvements for next year's tournament, but I can tell you the Celtic team is looking at possible other tournaments because of this. Reporting live, Maricela Burgos, ABC Action News.